Okay, let's wrap up the first of the side-by-side -side induction examples. So a quick review, this is the equation we're trying to prove. First we show that it's true if we plug 1 into the equation. The left hand side is 1, the right hand side is 1. So this equation is true when n equals 1. Then we replaced n with k and said, okay, let's assume that it's true up to k. What we want to prove is prove that it's true for the next step. So take this equation and, re and take it to the next step. On the left hand side I take it to the next step with k plus 1 and on the right hand side I kick everything up 1 because I'm not going up to k anymore, I'm going up to k plus 1. So this k becomes k plus 1, this k plus 1 gets bumped up to k plus 2. So this is what I'm trying to prove and I prove this equation uh, the first thing I did is I used my assumption to simplify this equation into this because this 1 plus 2 plus k all of this, according to my assumption, I can replace with this. So that's what I did. Okay, so that's just a crash course on what I'm trying to do when I'm trying to prove something by induction. Um, now, what I didn't get to cover in the video is how do we finish this off? How do I sh actually prove that the left-hand side equals the right-hand side? That's what we're going to do now. So this is what I'm trying to prove. Okay, I'm trying to show that this equals this. Um, I'm going to this is a little trick you can do. This e Showing that this is true is equivalent to showing that this times 2 is true. Right? Because if a equals b, then 2 times a is going to equal 2 times b. So I can multiply through by something. You just need to say, uh, you need to throw this phrase in. This is equivalent to showing. And then you can go ahead and clear the denominator. See, I want to get rid of my fractions. I have a 2. 2 is the only thing that appears in my denominator. So I say this is equivalent to showing. And then I clear my denominators by multiplying the equation through by 2. What's going to happen here? Well, this 2 is going to cancel with this 2, right? And that's just going to leave me k times k plus 1. This 2, when I multiply it to this, doesn't simplify anything. It just ends up getting multiplied. So I have 2 times k plus 1. That's what happens on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, right-hand side is easy. This 2 cancels out the denominator, which is what I wanted it to do. And on the right-hand side, I'm simply left with the numerator, k plus 1 times k plus 2. Okay, see, now this is easier. And it, this is always something you can do. If you have fractions, you say this is equivalent to showing, and then you go ahead and you cancel out the denominators, which I'll show in, the, in another video. It's something I do in the fourth or the other addendum video too. Okay, so now how do I prove this? There are a couple ways of doing this. If you're really good at algebra, this is a one-step problem, but the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to show you kind of the brute force method. Uh, and the brute force force method is just to calculate the left-hand side and simplify it, calculate the right-hand side and simplify it. And if your left-hand side equals your right-hand side, you've proven that this equation is true. This isn't the most elegant way to do things. Uh, this isn't the most clever way to do things, but this is the most will work for you way to do things. So on the left-hand side, I'm going to distribute the k. So I'm going to simplify the left-hand side, so I distribute the k. So I'm going to get k times k is k squared, k times 1 is k. Okay, so if I distribute the k, I get k squared plus k. That's what happens here. And on the right hand, I'm sorry, on the next term, if I distribute the 2, I simply get 2 times k is 2k, 2 times 1 is 2. And now there is nothing to multiply. The parentheses aren't doing anything for me now. I can just get rid of the parentheses. And again, I haven't done anything nifty. I just got rid of the parentheses. And I combine like terms. I can combine my, I have 1k here, I have 2k's here, so I have 3k's total. So my left hand side, through some distribution and simplification, works out to k squared plus 3k plus 2. What's my right hand side do? Well, I have k plus 1 times k plus 2. I'm going to distribute the k first, so if I distribute the k, I'm going to get k times k is k squared. Then I'm going to get k times 2, which is 2k. Now I'm done distributing k, I'm going to distribute the 1. 1 times k is k. 1 times 2 is 2. Okay, now I simplify this. I have 2k's here, 1k's here. They combine for a total of 3k. Lo and behold, the left-hand side simplifies to k squared plus 3k plus 2. And the right-hand side simplifies to k squared plus 3k plus 2. We are done now. We have proven um, 
we have proven this equation by induction. And let me just make a little note here. If you look up here at this equation, you could have seen that, oh look, there's a k plus 1 here, there's a k plus 1 here. If I factor it out, if I factor the k plus 1, it's going to leave a k here and a plus 2 here. So I'm going to end up with k plus 1 times k plus 2. If that didn't make sense to you, don't worry. I'm just throwing that out there for people who are really good at algebra. There are, uh, there are different ways to show prove this equality. Some are more elegant than others. Like up here, I think it was the clever thing to do was to show that you can factor out the k plus 1. And that would leave you a k plus 2. However, you can't always just algebra Jedi yourself through these problems. Um, so that's why I did want to go through just the grassroots effort of simplifying everything on the left, simplifying everything on the right, and showing that those are equal. Okay, and this picture here all together proves this one equation. Now, in my this one equation, of, again, is equation one from my side-by-side -side examples. In another video, I'm going to go through uh, proving the challenge equation with equation two from the side-by-side -side examples.